Hey guys, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to do my top five shampoos. I have previously done my top five conditioners because as a curly girl, conditioner is kind of like the end all be all and we kind of ignore our shampoos, but there are some shampoos that I have um, used either throughout the years or just some of them are kind of recent, but they all have worked really well in my hair, worked wonders in my hair, and I wanted to give shampoo a little love too. Um, a little disclaimer before I start, it is St. Patrick's Day weekend, and I live in a very like college 10, like big 10 kind of neighborhood. So at any point it might get really obnoxiously loud because my upstairs neighbors love to party and I have very thin walls, so all weekend it's been like animal house. So I apologize if you hear any extracurricular craziness, but let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so the first shampoo I'm going to mention in my top five, and these are in no particular order, although I will say that I do love this one. Did you guys know I was going to pull out a Jane Carter product? Jane Carter Solutions Moisture Nourishing Shampoo. And you can see I'm pretty low on this one. Um, I love this stuff. I think this is the second bottle of this stuff that I've picked up. Um, and it works really well. I really like it. The name says it all. It really moisturizes and nourishes for a shampoo which you wouldn't normally expect from a shampoo. From shampoo you're expecting you know to get your hair clean, stripped, all the gunk out and then you look to your conditioner to really moisturize. But with this product when I use it this um, helps to find my curls already in the shampooing state. So I really appreciate that because of course when you have curly hair you can tell by how dry my hair is looking here. When you have curly hair, it's all about like moisture. And I really appreciate that this adds some extra moisture. And I think in general, um, you know, Jane Carter's products tend to be a little less harsh for you. Some of them are completely natural, some are mostly natural, but um, they do use less harsh chemicals and they get the job done really well. And I love this uh, shampoo, especially in conjunction with her conditioner. Um, but yeah, it's just really great for adding moisture without stripping your hair and your hair still feels clean. So definitely in my top faves. The next shampoo I have is probably a year, if not shy of a year old, and it is um, the Jason's uh, Restorative Biotin Pure Natural Shampoo. And it says new and improved, and I actually got this a long time ago through Clout, and that's how I tried it. And honestly, I would have not tried it if I didn't get it through Clout, because in the past I have seen the Jason's um, products, and I didn't like uh, the smell of them, and just something about them never appealed to me. But packaging-wise, I think this is a really cute package, and it's a really nice giant size. This will last you a long time. I use this all the time, and I've had it for a while, and it's still, still ticking. So, like it says, it's a restorative biotin shampoo, and this one has no parabens, SLS, or phthalates. And this works really good at making your hair feels really clean when you use this without feeling stripped at all. Um, for an SLS, it still has a SLS free shampoo, it still has a nice lather. If you're a person who likes lather, um, this is great for you because sometimes the sulfate free shampoos are missing that element. Um, and yeah, it does not strip your hair, but it gets it really, really clean. And I really like the design of the top of it. Um, it has this kind of, you know, standard opening, but then it has this like moat around it. And I don't know if you can see there's a little opening there. So it never overflows. If product overflows, it goes back in. So it's not messy. I just love this shampoo. It works really, really good when I want my hair nice and clean. I use this bad boy. And then speaking of getting my hair like super squeaky clean, another product that I like to use, and this one is from the drugstore and is crazy cheap, is the Alberto VO5 Herbal Escapes Clarifying Shampoo in Kiwi Lime Squeeze with a very, it says, richer lather. Now this one does have sulfates and um, all that jazz, but I really like this one. It's hard to read it because it's on white. But yeah, it says that it clarifies with rosemary and lemongrass extracts. So it rinses the hair clean, helps to remove buildup, um, and it says that it keeps color treated hair looking great. Now I use this when I really want, even when I wanted to get cleaner than this, because this does leave your hair a little stripped feeling. But there are some days where I wait a little too long to wash my hair, or I've just been playing with it too much, and I'm like, right now I put a little too much product up in it. Um, that's when I'll reach for this, and it smells really nice. It kind of has like a little zing to it, wakes you up, and it's just so cheap. This one I got for 97 cents. If you're a person who doesn't really care about the sulfates um, and that sort of thing in your shampoo, I definitely recommend this, but if you do care about sulfates and that sort of thing, this probably isn't the best. But if you want ridiculously clean hair and you're on a budget, 
I recommend this one but I don't use this all the time I will say if this was your only shampoo I think it would be a little too stripping I would recommend getting like a regular shampoo and then using this about like once a month the next one I have is also from the drugstore and it is the Tresme's Naturals um, Vibrantly Smooth Shampoo and this one is not completely sulfate free but it has lower sulfates so when I was transitioning from sulfate free shampoo or from sulfate shampoos to sulfate free um, when I was trying to find solutions this was the first product I picked out because I had lower sulfates and I really liked it I saw a difference immediately in my hair with this product and even though it has sulfates they're not as strong as most shampoos it gets my hair really nice and clean um, and when I was using it I saw a difference in my hair getting softer and not as uh, dried out from sulfates so this is a product that I definitely recommend if you're trying to transition particularly if you're on a budget um, but you're someone like me who does load up on the hair products so at first you're a little bit uh, I don't know like nervous like I was nervous to go sulfate free because I felt like my hair wouldn't get clean enough with all the things that I put in it considering that I only wash it once a week so this was a good kind of middle step and it, uh, my hair saw a difference but there was still enough sulfates and still enough um, products in it to really get it clean although now there are uh, you know shampoos that are completely sulfate free that do a good job I still think some people you know it's it's totally fine if it's not like a big importance in your life um, but you know you've been hearing about it, you're kind of curious I think this is one of the greater shampoos and I still continue to use this because um, I'm not like you know completely anti the sulfates like it's not that big a deal to me and this product I love it and you get a ton of it and it's always on sale I got this really cheap um, at CVS and it's lasted me well over a year and a half so that's that for you and then the last product I think is discontinued however if this is discontinued you can get another product that I actually like better that I don't have that is very similar so this shampoo however is the CO Big Lowe's tea tree and eucalyptus shampoo for all hair types and I picked this up because it was on a crazy sale um, it was like three dollars um, at like an end of year sale and that's why I think that it might be discontinued however I picked this up because um, of the tea tree which reminds me a lot of the Trader Joe's tea, tea, tea tree tingle shampoo which I love which is very cheap um, which is sulfate free which works amazing and is very similar to this in scent and in the way it works so the tea tree is really good for anyone like me who has dandruff tea tree is great um, for you and it really helps with that it helps like uh, get your scalp really clean but it also the tea tree treats your scalp and really helps with uh, dandruff buildup it's also really good if you want to have like squeaky clean hair um, you want to look for products with tea tree in it and also the tea tree and the eucalyptus in this one and the tea tree and the tea tree tingle um, really help wake you up in the morning it just gives you like a nice zip and a zing um, this one has a great lather it works really well I'm trying to see this one says it has no artificial colors but I think it still has sulfates the CO Big Low one has sulfates, but if you go the Trader Joe version, it does not have sulfates. So that is my one, two, three, four, five favorite shampoos. Let me know down below what your favorite shampoos are. I would love to know. Um, you, let us know your favorite shampoo and your hair type in case somebody with similar hair type reads it down below because I kind of like when the comments like help people out. So yeah put down information below let people know your favorite shampoo your hair type why you like it um you can also comment anything else you'd like because you guys know i love talking to you and that's about it i don't know if you could tell i'm kind of sick so <laughs> i'm gonna go back to laying on my couch and i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you soon bye